Yeah, at the beginning, let me show you that I have the smartphones. I always provide my viewers, my subscribers with true content. And I really hate those channels, those people who uploads fake videos. Please support true content. What's up everybody? Welcome to another camera comparison video. This is a Red Magic 6S Pro, this is iQOO 8 Pro and this one is Asus ROG Phone 5S. They don't call it ROG Phone anymore, this is ROG 5S. Anyway, check carefully which smartphone has reproduced my skin tone correctly, which one has rendered colors correctly. Yeah, there are a lot of colors at the background. Which one has better exposure, contrast ratio, check everything carefully. Also check which smartphone microphone is working better. Listen carefully, check carefully and make a comment in the comment section below. Let me know which one has done better. I must mention that none of these brands have ever sent me any review units. So I had to buy these smartphones. I always try to provide you with honest content, true content. So if you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Well, it's time to start our camera comparison video. Let's jump right into portrait photos. This is a segment where IQ 8 Pro should win cause it has a dedicated lens tagged with a 16 megapixel sensor for portrait photos. Let me tell you without any hesitation, the basics of bokeh photos are done correctly on IQ 8 Pro. Clean edge detection, perfectly balanced subject and background, separation line blend without any artifacts or crazy cutouts, eye pleasing color rendition, and a bit of a beauty effect. Yes, Asus ROG 5S also produces portrait photos with a 50mm effect. Actually, it takes portrait photos with the main sensor and then applies digital crop in. Skin tone and color grading is way better on ROG 5S. That is amazing. It also has processed more details on the subject, but exposure and contrast ratio hurts very heavily. ROG 5S is more true to life, when IQ 8 Pro produced social media ready eye pleasing portraits. Both Red Magic 6S Pro and IQ 8 Pro kept warm color temperature, and IQ 8 Pro has added some saturation. Yes, there is some type of beauty effect on all three, but Red Magic 6S Pro default beauty effect is more aggressive. We have checked portrait photos, but what about human subject photos in auto mode? Have you noticed that all of these three smartphones have produced photos with some similarities? Red Magic 6S Pro and ROG 5S have similar tonal contrast, IQ 8 Pro and ROG 5S got similar exposure and contrast. The difference is actually in saturation, exposure and white balance. The differences are mostly preferential, quality of the photos are not that different. However, Red Magic 6S Pro is a bit behind of the other two. All of these three have average details. Once again, there are some beauty effect added on the subject. Red Magic 6S Pro has warm tone. IQ 8 Pro in search of brightness increased highlights. IQ 8 Pro and Red Magic 6S Pro exposure seems to be a bit high. ROG 5S kept that natural skin tone, but also retained that poor contrast. On the other hand, IQ 8 Pro has managed to render colors better than the other two. Yes, it is very difficult to judge, but if you consider all the aspects, then I would go with Vivo IQ8 Pro. But it is for sure, Red Magic 6S Pro and Asus ROG 5S has done well as these are hardcore gaming smartphones. I have checked all the photos, a lot of photos and then handpicked these photos to share with you. As I am using Vivo X70 Pro Plus as my daily drive for last few days, all of these three smartphones made me understand gaming smartphones are really not for photography. Yes, IQ8 Pro has done well, but okay, let us check the differences. Most of the mid-range smartphones struggled to reproduce this photo, as Asus ROG 5S and Red Magic 6S Pro has mid-range class camera setup. You can see these two have struggled in exposure, contrast and details. When I have compared this IQ 8 Pro with the other flagships, it has failed to impress me. But here it has better exposure, better color rendition and more details. But performance is really not consistent. 
iQ8 Pro randomly generated photos with crazy tone and white balance. Check the picture in the middle. What happened to iQ8 Pro? Actually, Red Magic 6S Pro has impressed me in indoor artificial light environment. With the weakest sensor, it has managed to fight with iQ8 Pro, and sometimes it has even produced photos better than Vivo iQ8 Pro. I have said this in most of my camera comparison videos. Yes, a lot depends on personal preferences, and you all may have different type of requirements. But I must mention, even if most of the time Vivo iQ8 Pro has done better, it's not significantly better in indoor artificial lighting environment. White balance and saturation level of iQ8 Pro is bizarre. Maybe I should use the word erratic. Okay, I also need to mention, most of the time iQ8 Pro has grabbed more details, and shadows are neither too sharp nor too soft. Highlights and vibrance actually fluctuates and varies in all of these three smartphones depending on different lighting condition. But once again, Vivo iQ8 Pro has managed to get more realistic rendition of colors, while Asus ROG 5S has continued to have high contrast and saturation. Definitely, these are not the best camera smartphones out there, but considering the price and specifications, Red Magic 6S Pro, iQ8 Pro, and Asus ROG 5S all have the potential to perform better than this. I have recorded these video clips in 1080p 30 frames per second. Only iQ8 Pro comes with OIS, Red Magic 6S Pro and Asus ROG 5S depends on EIS. Straight to the point. Red Magic 6S Pro, iQ8 Pro, and ROG 5S has rendered colors with different tone. Not only that, white balance, exposure, saturation level, everything is totally different. Dynamic range is pretty similar, but I am impressed by the performance of the true gaming devices. Yeah, in my book, iQ8 Pro isn't a real gaming device. Red Magic 6S Pro has reproduced almost correct skin tone. Both have very good stabilization. All of these smartphones have managed to grab enough details and textures are sharp enough. Yeah, of course, iQ8 Pro has done better. I mean, overall, it has done better, but once again, marginally better. This time, night mode photos are a bit different. I had Jennifer with me, but at the beginning, don't look at her. Check sky color rendition, then check the background, colors, noise level, then check lake water and then finally check details on Jennifer's face. I will let you quickly go through a few photos. Well, have you noticed the differences? On paper, iQ8 Pro has the best specification and the potential to take great night mood photos. And in most of the photos, it really has performed like a flagship. But what about the other two? Okay, we need to control our expectations. Asus ROG 5S and Red Magic 6S Pro doesn't have OIS. A bit of a shakiness would ruin night mood photos. Anyway, my star of the night mood photos in this comparison is iQ8 Pro. Yes, it sometimes rendered colors with an awkward color curve, but most of the time passed my test DENS. As mentioned earlier, details are better on iQ8 Pro, but Red Magic 6S Pro is pretty close. I would say exposure is better on iQ8 Pro cause it has managed to increase brightness without blowing out the subject or background. Noise and grains are also better on Vivo iQ8 Pro. Both the Red Magic 6S Pro and the Asus ROG 5S has done well, but one more time, Red Magic 6S Pro is slightly ahead. Okay. Finally, we should check shadows and definitely iQ8 Pro is better. Altogether, considering the price and specifications, I am surprised by the performance of Red Magic 6S Pro. It fought very hard with a flagship class camera smartphone iQ8 Pro. Well, Red Magic 6S Pro got the weakest sensor, 8 megapixel sensor for selfie photos, 16 megapixel sensor on iQ8 Pro. 24 megapixel sensor on Asus ROG 5S. Selfie camera performance on these smartphones are really very average. 
Okay, there is a smartphone giveaway going on for the subscribers of this channel. To join the giveaway, what you have to do is to make a comment explaining which smartphone selfie camera has done better. I will select winners based on valid and descriptive comments. So check these photos and make a valid comment. Red Magic 6S Pro got a very ordinary 8 megapixel sensor for ultra wide photos. IQ8 Pro got a 16 megapixel sensor and ROG 5S got a 13 megapixel sensor. Details are way better on IQ8 Pro. Balance between shadow and brightness, good contrast ratio, and sharpness. Yeah, even with a lot of positive notes, IQ8 Pro fails to ROG 5S in ultra wide photos because it has bizarre color rendition and awful saturation. Asus ROG 5S has got everything almost correct, nothing is perfect, but the photos replicates reality. It's almost true to life. Things are totally different when we move to the main sensor. Red Magic 6S Pro got Sony IMX 682, Asus ROG 5S got Sony IMX 686, and IQ8 Pro got Sony IMX 766 sensor as its main sensor. IQ8 Pro white balance seems to be a bit better but tonal contrast isn't that good. Details and texture processing performance is like a ride on a roller coaster, sometimes very good and sometimes just average. The truth is, while taking photos with the main sensor, IQ8 Pro photos are more close to reality. It may not be as perfect as a super flagship, but definitely better than the other two. As both the Red Magic 6S Pro and Asus ROG 5S uses their main sensor to take zoom photos, all the attributes are almost the same. IQ8 Pro comes with a dedicated telephoto lens for 2x optical zoom and it does perform well. More details with sharp textures? Yes, sometimes it's slightly overexposed when there is a human subject and when we go beyond 2x zoom, at 5x the differences are way more visible. But what amazed me is the performance of ROG 5S. Sony IMX686 has really performed well. These video clips were recorded in 4K 30 frames per second. I wanted to check whether gimbal stabilization that IQ8 Pro got on the main sensor works in 4K videos or not. Anyway, IQ8 Pro has wider dynamic range, also got almost correct skin tone, Details and textures are better on IQ8 Pro. Please check carefully and let me know in the comment section which smartphone has better exposure. Okay, IQ8 Pro 4K performance is really way better than the other two. But the question is whether IQ8 Pro is a camera centric phone or a gaming smartphone. Cause other than the name and outlook, IQ8 Pro has nothing like a hardcore gaming device. No shoulder buttons, no internal or external cooling fan, no 3.5mm port, nothing like a gaming smartphone. Anyway, it's time for verdict and I'm truly convinced IQ8 Pro is the winner of this comparison. But of course, among the real gaming smartphones, Red Magic 6S Pro is a bit better. Well, if you have liked this video then please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to this channel.